full scholarship to a school in New York, um, the New School. And I, um, when I got there, the first person I met was Bilal. He got a full scholarship too, and he came up from Philly. And we immediately clicked the very first day, you know. And um, so we developed a relationship and started doing little gigs around the city, little random jazz gigs, you know what I mean? And um, I mean, we had a gig, it was for six hours, and we got paid uh, $10 a piece. <laughs> but we just wanted to play, <laughs> you know what I mean? We had like six people playing with us, we just wanted to play. Every week we did it. And the drummer from the Spin Doctors, Aaron Comus, was on it. And because uh, he lived by the school, we just got cool with him. So being that we were cool with him, we ended up doing a Balaz demo at his house. And then that's how we kind of got sucked into the hip hop soul arena. Because once Balaz got signed, I was, became his, I was his music director. And from there, you know, that's where it all started happening, you know. Common and Mos Def and all these people were called to be on his record. That's when we actually got called to work with Jay Dilla for Bilal's album. So we flew down to Detroit and me and Bilal got to hang with Dilla for two weeks, you know, and um, and work with him and and it was just an amazing experience. And um, from that, that's when we, you know, that's when we started getting really cool with all the MCs and Bilal was on Common's records and I was. Common lived around the corner from my house in Brooklyn, so I would give him piano lessons <laughs> and go over to his crib, and Erica would come over to my crib. You know, she lived around the corner from us, so it was me, Bilal, Erica, Common. And then, you know, from there, yeah, most stuff, and, you know, I, I met Tribe Called Quest. Just from being around that whole thing, you know, and, you know, they would come to my little jazz gigs, you know, my little stuff I would do in the bars while I'm in college. You know, Ali Shaheed and Tip would be at the bar checking me out, you know what I mean? And, and so we kind of developed a relationship, like a more of a family relationship, um, like that. And then, you know, Tip started calling me to do stuff for him and did a lot of writing and recording with Tip. And, you know, it just kind of, it kind of, you know, wrote snowball from there. You know what I mean? I'm Robert Glasper and I rock jazz. Right.